A view of the Atlanta skyline and all the action below it, as seen from the 17th Street Bridge. The Eastern Conference semifinals continue here on 2K Sports. Game two. And tonight, it'll be the Indiana Pacers going up against the Atlanta Hawks at State Farm Arena. This is Kevin Harlan, and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Aldrich joins us on the sideline. DA, it's all yours. In the last few years, we've seen league-wide scoring surge in the NBA. Now, many credit years of defensive rules changes, such as limiting hand checking on and off the ball and getting rid of contact in the paint. Now, everyone isn't pleased with these changes. Some say defense is no longer allowed, but a higher pace of play, more efficient shot selection, and lots of threes also play a role. Most fans aren't complaining. Kevin? It sure is fun to watch, DA. Thank you. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. Sabonis and Turner up front. Oladipo is the two with Warren playing small four. And it's McConnell in at the point. And for Atlanta, Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Young and Herter make up the backcourt. And it's Len in at the center position. So Indiana wins the tip. Now McConnell. Passes it to Sabonis. Stolen by Collins. Pass to Herter. And he uses the glass on the lane. Herter's got the first basket of the game for the Hawks. That's next level vision. Young could probably lead the league in assists if that were his goal. McConnell passes to Oladipo. Off target from outside. And the Hawks with possession. And here is Hunter. Second chance effort. Sabonis grabs the board. Oladipo for three. Trains the three-pointer. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Young taking his time here. Trains it from beyond the arc. We knew this was coming. Trey Young hitting back with the three ball. Give me back that momentum. McConnell kicks to Warren. And there's the defensive three-second call. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And he shows the focus there. Nails the technical. Brogdon, he's checked in for the Pacers. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Sabonis, the best to Brogdon. Lock at six. On deep. He can't get it to go. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Here's Hunter. And he banks in the lane. But with a number of moves and shots to choose from, Hunter is scary. It's a nice bucket there. And then against Collins. Here's Sabonis. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. The Hawks have gone 3 of 5, shooting the ball so far. And Collins now top the key. Dishes to Young. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the win. Young's got five. He's fearless. Trey Young knows he's probably going to take contact, and it doesn't matter at all. Young against Rodden. Oladipo outside. Five to shoot. A floater. Second chance shot. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Collins. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. For Indiana, they have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. A free throw. 
free throw drops for Oladipo. The Atlanta making some changes. Jabari Parker's checked in for John Collins. Turner comes in for Hunter. And it's Reddish in for Kevin Herter. He hits both from the strike. For Atlanta, they've gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Parker outside. Young with no one around. Off target with his three. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. And finished off by Oladipo. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. Young against Rodden. And it's sent back by Turner. Outside Warren. Kicks it to Oladipo. Over Reddit. And there's the bucket from Victor Oladipo. Oladipo's got his third basket of the night right there. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's Young. That's tipped. A minute 42 left to play in the first quarter. Rocked in the pass to turn. The dish to Warren. Just five on the clock. Not going to go that time. Good work defensively by Turner. Now, here's Red. Started by Oladipo. Here's Turner. And to get open is Land. Nice D from Warren. In the corner, it's Brogdon. No good on the triple. The Hawks trail by three. Here's Young. And it's sent back by Turner. In a bump this quarter, he's trying to shoot his way out of it. Wasted no time on that one. And how about the terrific use of the crossover there to just throw the defender off balance? Young finds Parker. Back to Young. High arcing shot. And it's good in the assist by Parker. Young's got seven. The threat of Young's jumper forces defenders to play him close, making it easier for him to get by his man. Oladipo, the pass to Sabonis, and the layup's good off the glass. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now, here is Young. He's got seven. Len. He made it! Yes. He made it! Yes, he did! Yeah. Big time shot to beat the buzzer there. My goodness. He had to rush that one a little, but terrific stroke from range. Victor Oladipo getting it done for Indiana. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. Let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Pacers so far, guys. I love their effort. Contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. Here's Turner. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the court right now for the Hawks. You've got Reddish. Chandler Parsons out there. Jabari Parker. Then it's Jones. And it's Turner in at the one. Down low, Oladipo. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Oladipo's got the first basket of the second quarter for Indiana. And Turner kicks to Parker. Outside Turner. To the inside. And Reddish with the slam. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now here is Holiday. Floats one up, and Jones sends it down. Turner with it, and Holiday picks him up defensively. 
Here's Parsons. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Indiana leading. Lamb passes to Oladipo. Outside Holiday. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Good work defensively by Turner. Here's Rhett. And Rhett is with the slam. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. So timeout called here, the first for Indiana. They look to start a new streak after losing on Monday. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game. They didn't do that defensively. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. Collins checked in for Atlanta. Kevin Herter comes in for Reddish. And Land kicks to Holland. Indiana again missing. All the time in the world to get that one off. Outside, Jones. That's to Herter. Shot clock at six. Jones, no luck. The Pacers have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Holiday gets the bucket. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for Atlanta. Trailing by two. Herder passes to Collins. And it's blocked. On the wing, Lamb. Turner covering. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the foul. This goes against Atlanta. The Pacers have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Two shots. Under six. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Hunter's checked in for Parsons. And Land drops them both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Turner dishes to Collins. Here's Herder. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. The Atlanta shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Kevin Herder. Two shots. Free throw, no good. Young's checked in for the Hawks. He hits the second from the line. Pacers leading by three. Holiday, the pass to be Thompson. Holiday with it. Here's Bitadze. Good work defensively by Jones. Uncovered. And it comes off the front of the rim. The Pacers have gone two of six from the field in the second quarter so far. Holiday against Collins. Holiday, the pass to Bitadze. Over Young. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Now, here's Hunter. Outside, Jones. Fades back. It's rebounded by Indiana. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. The Pacers have been good at the line so far. Five of five. Two. That 
that's good from Holiday. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Atlanta making a switch here. Lens checked in. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for the Pacers. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for Jeremy Lamb. Both free throws good from Holiday. The Hawks trail by five. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. The pace is shooting at 44%, pretty reasonable. There's the pass to McDermott. And stolen by Hunter. Here we go, one on one. And it's Hunter with the jam. Solid in transition. Hunter's eyes light up when he gets a chance to finish one of those off. Outside Warren. A baseline J. There's Bitadze. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art. And that's the result you'll get. Now, here is Young. Seven points in the game. Just five to shoot. Here's Herter. Sweet little floater. Herter's got his second basket of the night. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. Outside Warren. Passes to Brogdon. It's rebounded by Herter. The Hawks trail by three. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Can't connect from short range. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. Warren, good. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Young with the ball. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Pacers lead by five. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Atlanta. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. So one half completed in this round two conference semifinal game. Ernie Johnson with Shaq and Kenny the Jet will be breaking down all the action. Taking a look at the Pacers, they've battled hard, not letting their loss in game one affect their performance tonight. But the second half is going to tell the tale of whether they go into game three desperate for a win or with momentum on their side and a 1-1 series tie. And Kenny, what'd you think about what we saw from Indiana? Love the dog in Oladipo! That's my guy. Everything has come together for him the last couple of years. He could take a game over on either end, and he's doing it more consistently now. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Hawks? I think they let the game come to them, but they haven't got to the foul line enough. Right? That's the area where they're getting beat. I like to see them press to action a little bit more. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference Semifinal. You look at Victor Oladipo in this game, he has been everywhere. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference Semifinals. On the court right now for the Pacers. Oladipo is the two with Warren playing small forward. Sabonis and Turner up front. And it's McConnell in at the point guard position. Does a good job of making quick reads and quick decisions off ball screens. Young always looking under control. Sabonis. And that one is off. Collins with some nice D. Here's Hunter. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Hunter's got six points. The defense was clearly not on the same page. No one picked up the open man. Pass to McConnell. Over Collins. A shot by McConnell, no good. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. It's a one-point game. 
for the lead. And Oladipo pulls it down. Oladipo's got four rebounds in this game. No good on the shot. And Atlanta will go the other way. With it. Ooh, they've come out ice cold to start this half. Three misses and as many attempts. The agility, the hops, the great hands. Collins is the perfect alley-oop partner. Now, here's McConnell. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And there's the call on John Collins. That's foul number two for him. For the Hawks, Jones checked in for Alex Land. Chandler Parsons comes in for Hunter. And Turner subbed in for Young. Land who's checked in for Indiana. Here's Oladipo. 11 points in the game. Collins with some nice D. Missed four straight shots now. At one point, do you have to call a timeout and regroup? The Hawks shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Kevin Herter. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Leaf checked in for the Pacers. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for T.J. Warren. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Lamb and slam dunk by Lamb. Whoa, that'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. Pass to Collins. Turner inside. He's guarded by Brogdon. Turner passes to Jones. That ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. Jones has got the lead up to three now for the Hawks. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Oladipo with the ball. He's picked up by Collins. And there's the call on Kevin Hurd. That's his first foul. Atlanta making some changes. Jabari Parker comes in for Collins. And it's Reddish in for Kevin Herter. outside six on the shot clock here's lamb here's leaf and denied he sends it right off the glass that is the pass to parker and the dunk by parker yeah i mean maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that and we know he's capable of those memorable ones now here's brogdon He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Leave kicks to Oladipo. Reddish grabs the rebound. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Here's Turner, and it's slammed in by Turner. And don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out, step by step. Value in each possession. And the Pacers call time here. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. to be touched. Now here's Lamb. Let's it go with a three. The rebound by Turner. To the middle. And Jones gets it to go in on the assist by Turner. 
Turner's got three assists now in this one. Logged in the pass to be Thompson. And here is Lamb. Brogdon outside. Shot clock at five. Plays it up and banks it in. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Parsons outside. Always going up for the alley oop here. And Reddish with the slam. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. What it was, they are getting better shots, which has gotten them into a rhythm, and they're knocking down everything. Here's Leaf, still looking for his first bucket in this one. To the right side. McDermott, and no one around him. Tries again. That one's in there. The Hawks' lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Leaf. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. And Jones with the stuff. And in every since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they've settled in and executed brilliantly. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Bitadze, he hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Probably wasn't the shot they were looking for, but they'll take the bucket. Let's go. Off target with that shot. And so it's Atlanta heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. Back to the action after this word. And let's listen in on what Nate McMillan had to say to his team. Defensively, we got to keep these guys in front of us shooting contestant two. All right, play defense without fouling. Being aggressive, GA, without fouling. That's a good message, and that's what Coach McMillan wants. Uh, the worst thing you can do is bail a team out. It's important that they just lock down here defensively. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. We've got Alex Len. Jabari Parker is out there with Hunter. Then it's Reddish. And it's Young in at the one spot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Here's Reddish. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Turner's got his fourth rebound in this one. With some arc. The shot by Holiday. No good. The Hawks leading by five. Young takes it from 10. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got rebound number five here tonight. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Holiday, the pass to Turner. Over Young. The shot by Turner, no good. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Hawks. Their biggest lead of the game was not. Let's it go from deep. Sinks the three-pointer. It seems like they found their rhythm offensively, and they're shooting the ball much better out of the break. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Changes. 
John Collins, he's checked in for Jabari Parker. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Reddish. Sabonis, he's checked in for Indiana. Oladipo comes in for Aaron Holiday. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to hear Nate McMillan talk to his team during the break. He's pleased that they're getting consistent points in the paint. He said, in this league, it's not easy to do what you guys are doing. Let's just keep doing it until they stop us. Kevin? Here's Hunter following the basket by T.J. Warren. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. And here's Oladipo. With the floater, and the layup is up and in. And now it's just a four-point Hawks lead. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Here's Young. Hawks for the new shot clock. Run kick kicks to Young. Shoots over Brogdon. Got it from 16 feet. 14 points for Trey Young. In all second half, they haven't gotten stops with any consistency. Outside Warren. Over Collins. And the shot by Warren, no good. Herder passes to Collins. And it's good, two points. And now it's an eight-point Hawks lead. And they're scoring much more efficiently out, here in the second half. And they've gotten that field goal percentage above 50. And the Pacers call time here. The short rest, very important. And one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push. And to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. And Greg, to play like he has under the most intense circumstances here in the playoffs makes it all the more remarkable. Quarter to play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Here's Oladipo. Collins with some nice D. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to go on Sabonis. As usual, beasting inside. John Collins puts defenders in no-win situations. John Collins. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. What's interesting about John Collins, he plays fast, but he's also measured in his approach. And he can't make the second free throw either. This is both. Good on the bucket. A little breakdown there, letting him get that rebound. left here in the fourth quarter. Oladipo goes in. And once again off the mark by Indiana. The Hawks leading by 10. Young dishes the land. Hawks passing it around. 
Young passes to Lamb. Five on the clock. Again, the Hawks score. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. They've taken nothing for granted. You can see their plan the moment rather than the score. And there's the bucket from Victor Oladipo. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're ahead by 10. We've got 108 left to play here in the fourth. doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. Well, you know what? It was a team that was in sync and, and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And while there were some nice performances tonight, it definitely ended up being a solid outing for Trey Young. High-level shot-making, what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. Now, oh, here's Hunter. Victor Oladipo unable to get his last shot to go. Collins kicks to Hunter. The pass to Young. Shoots over Warren. The Pacers pull it in. And there's the call on John Collins. That's his third foul of the game. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. This one just all but in the books. Yeah, too many points, not enough time. Here's Bitadze, and the Pacers can't get it to go. Parsons outside. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Chandler, you guys really passed the ball well tonight, and that seemed to feed energy at both ends. Yeah, just playing selfish. And as you can see, we're having so much fun when we play that way. When everyone's getting involved, everybody's touching it. Uh, it's just a much better team offense when we play like that, and it's successful for us. It was successful tonight, Chandler. Thanks for your time. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. It's time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference playoffs. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports.